Now, a couple of years ago, I had promised Nikki that I would take her on this incredible steam engine ride through the Black Forest of Germany. And we got there and I got my tickets and they put us on the wrong train. Now we were supposed to go through the woods in this romantic old train ride with the smoke of puffin. And what we got instead was the commuter ride. It didn't even go through the woods. It went underneath of them. So we didn't get to go. I was disappointed. I felt really bad for Nikki. Earlier this year, we were supposed to be going to the UK and Scotland and whatnot when my work said, you're going to Romania for a week long meeting. Well, we had weekends on either side of it. And so we decided to explore on both of them. Now, before we get to the steam engines, I want to tell you about Tudor or the curly headed tour guide. Here he is. So on the weekend before we went up with Tudor and we decided to do the salt mines and a gorge hike. Now the salt mines are really kind of cool. It's an honest to God old ex salt mine that they turned into an amusement park, but not quite like Disney World. What you have down there are things like, uh, there's a big merry, not a merry-go-round. What do they call that big circular thing? It's one of those. There's also a little bowling alley and picnic tables. And there's a little flooded lake where you can ride rowboats. And it's really dark and there's hardly any lighting in there, but it just seems to be kind of perfect. Now there's also a lot of steps, a lot, a lot, a lot of up and down steps. Now they do have an elevator. One, it holds about oh, half a person. And there's always a long line to go up and down. So you're gonna walk up, you're gonna walk down a whole lot. It's really cool, especially when it's really hot. Now we also did the gorge. The gorge is kind of like a little mini Grand Canyon, only smaller. Uh, there's kind of a big V thing with water running through it, lots of rocks. It is not OSHA approved. And honestly, I don't know how people managed to get through there without dying. There were so many folks just walking around in flip-flops and high-heeled shoes and completely other inappropriate footwear. Uh, and we went through the whole thing. It's maybe two kilometers long. It's a really nice hike despite the crowds. Well, we get to the end and Tudor, our little curly-haired guide, decides he's going to give us a choice. We can go back to the way we camp or High up on each side, there's a hiking trail that goes back and we could take one of them. Well, we did. Okay, it actually wasn't, well, I was gonna say it wasn't that bad, but yeah, it was. Nikki and I were kind of out of shape at that point. Uh, she really, really was struggling with the up and down and banging her knees. And around that point in our trip, she had a lot of back problems as well. So maybe the hike wasn't the greatest idea, but it was gorgeous up there. And there was no other human beings, none, except for the three of us. So, you know, on the good side, we had it all to ourselves. On the bad side, there was no way of getting us out if anything happened. But on the good side, again, nothing did. Now, Tudor also took us to an incredible, I think it was Hungarian, Romanian. It was a something Anian restaurant, uh, a village where they still lived very naturally in the way they always did. And I'll tell you one thing. I thought I'd had Hungarian goulash before. I've never had Hungarian goulash before. It is incredible when you get to the real thing. So thanks, Tudor. It was an incredible, incredible day. And I'm going to put links to him down below because if you're ever in Romania, which is, I forgot the name of the town. So if you're ever in Romania, anywhere near him, you got to give him. Now, the next weekend, we had a different tour guide and a different destination. Now, I'm not even going to go into her. She was one of these people that sighed with every sentence, you know, the day is sunny. <sighs> yeah, wasn't the greatest. Anyway, what she took us to was incredible. There is an old fashioned steam train. It's still really in use. They use it to haul timber and logs out of the Transylvania forest. Looks sort of like what's behind me, but it's not. Now for the tourists, they hook up these narrow gauge trains to the steam engine and they pull you up and they give you some food and you get to walk around and hang around and you get to come back. It sounds boring, but it was actually pretty darn incredible. It was everything we wanted to have in Germany, but didn't get to have. So it's very slow. The steam and the smoke kind of engulf the train at times. Uh, it's shaky, it's rattly. And I took more photos than I even know what to do with, as you've probably seen a few of them sliding by here on this presentation. 
But it was exactly what we wanted to do in Germany, and I think it was even better in Romania. So to my work, I thank you dearly for screwing up my Scotland, European, UK vacation, costing me hundreds of dollars to reschedule everything and go to this week-long conference because the two weeks... All right, and that concludes another episode of The Pirate Wanderer. And before you click off, pay attention. Details. All right, they're not really details. I'm going to beg you for subscriptions and likes and comments. But, you know, if I don't tell you something, you're just going to go off and look at puppies or something. So anyway, stay tuned for more. And always, be a pirate and go wander.